no dog. Just hit me, man. You're a yeah. <laughs> yeah, dog. Alexa, please don't be alarmed. <laughs> International Contemporary and Modern Art Fair returns Wednesday evening, February 16th through Sunday, February 19th at Monroe Plaza. Tickets and more info at Mark Bingham.com. Visit the Brisbane Metropolitan Area and around the country and find the end of this week with the Porto Metropolitan Area setting. Perhaps if you might try to limit the damage while still making movements striking every day. Uh, but we don't know what's going to happen now. From now on, if the government doesn't agree challenging, it's worth noting actually that the autonomous regions of the Azores and Madeira, which run their own educational system, have actually agreed to give those units back to their teachers. Uh, the teachers are in a different term. They, they, they're obviously a lot further from the centre. They don't benefit from some of the things that the mainland Portuguese teachers do. Uh, but uh, obviously, it's important to give all the government to argue that it's not possible when there are these regions that have actually already brought back this, this reform. That's pretty much as well. So, in February 1962, President Kennedy extended the economic dialogue on Cuba to include virtually all experts. Today, it's the longest running economic section in the world. It has all aspects of life on the from trade to agriculture to tourism. With Cuba in the grip of its worst economic crisis since the Cold War, Cuba government raised the island's workers on the embargo. Its critics don't want the thing to swear that on its run to Cuba model, where, of course, the crisis is prompting young people to leave the island in record numbers. It's not quite one of the granted animals. Just say you, the man. But how do you tackle what is such a big Alright, so we've been working on this. Kind of got it going. Let's see how can we get this getting a little bit further. Um, let's go to sky settings. Let's rotate it. From overseas, where you're just seeing this, this big picture, you're just seeing these kind of feudal efforts of these conflicts, but on the ground, you see people actually making real changes that matter. And at uh, University College London, how much time are you spending uh, with students amidst all the research work? Nice. Uh, quite a bit. I, I direct our, uh, our undergrad program in the department. I teach classes on Middle East politics, on U.S. foreign policy, on political violence and human there rights, and I do a lot of mentoring with students as well. It's actually one of the best parts of the job, in my opinion. Um, Freddie, welcome to the program as a panel guest for the first time, although I know you've awesome. been on the program uh, as a guest talking about specific items before, and we will talk about one of those a little bit later, but give us a sense of your background. Good, and a I think good strength of it around it. Uh, yes, We're I definitely going to use tones. The capital city of uh, Indonesia. Nah. Uh, I spent, uh, well, We're going to go spent with... <laughs> <laughs> Post effect for sure. Um, what would I add as a post effect? Let's see. Definitely. Lots. What this? Yeah. So I didn't get any jobs. <laughs> so and then I went back to night time. Australia for a bit, uh, uh, and then spent we'll get to control the night time. As a sociology lecturer so I, at the, the National University of Singapore before I came right, back to Australia. I was here. a Australian Research Council Future Fellow at Murdoch University. Uh, Definitely want to do Melbourne University, where I'm now director of the Asian Institute and an assistant deputy vice chancellor. Ambient occlusion, cool. Words, I'm a bureaucrat. <laughs> I'm sure you're a bit more than that. I mean, I, I asked there we you go. about working with students. Does the fact that you've reached that very elevated status mean that actually you and students don't rub shoulders as much as you'd like? Well, not as much as, as I would like, certainly. Uh, just yesterday, actually, I gave a, a, a guest lecture. Perfect. Was, uh, always want to save. Nice as always. Uh, prior to that, I was receiving... Alexa, volume down. Cool. Uh, Alright, got some more stuff I definitely want to add, so... Let's get this going. Um, camera and stuff, I'll focus on that last. I definitely want to get some more stuff in. Uh, our environment, cool. Um, I definitely want to get some more stuff in for sure. We're going to rig some more people. So we'll do that, no pressure, we'll rig some more people, add some people, it's going to be alright. Uh, outside of that, we will, I guess we'll go to props, what do we got our props? Let's have a look here. 
Dr. Mohammed Al Abrash is a surgeon in the Central Hospital in Northwest Syria, and he told the BBC that the situation in his hospital was practically unbearable. Our hospital is full of little creatures, and our ICU cannot cope with this. Uh, uh, this. Our ventilator is not enough. Our oxygen, especially the electricity, is cut off, and we are uh, using generators. Also, the operations room is cannot cope with this the big numbers. Really, the situation is very horrible. Speaking to the BBC from the Turkish capital, Ankara, Rowan Kawaji said she decided to be southeastern. Rocks on the ground. So I'm definitely gonna add a plane. Surface plane. Cool. But I want the plane to be. Shifty. Cool, so we're gonna definitely go ahead. I like this angle right here. So we're definitely gonna go ahead and put this put a camera. Go ahead and click create camera right here. Always go with orbital, gives you more access to it. Now what I am going to do, being that this camera is on this angle, I'm going to switch it back to preview so I don't mess that camera up. I actually have two cameras here. I created another one, which is cool. I'm just going to move the other one right here. So if we wanted to actually see that camera, cool, we'll lock this one. It's the intro. There's an easy way to change names. To click change name, I guess. Maybe not. Alright, so I'm definitely gonna move it in its own collection. Put that camera. Move that to camera collection. Cool. close up and stuff too uh, still got some more stuff I want to add though so I got some prepping I gotta do so let's take a look be right back <laughs> 